Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Amy Lloyd, and I have the honor of serving as the Assistant Secretary at the Office of Career, Technical, and Adult Education here in the U.S. Department of Education. I have been a longtime fan and supporter of FCCLA, and I'm excited to imagine the incredible power, potential, and leadership that you all bring to the FCCLA Leadership Conference in Denver. What an incredible event. You are our future leaders and professionals, and your expertise, your voices, your curiosity, your passion for making our world a better place all matter tremendously to me, to all of us here at the U.S. Department of Education, and to our nation. Last October, Secretary Cardona and I had the joy of meeting with your National Executive Council, and we were truly impressed by your thoughtfulness, your creativity, your energy, and your commitment to FCCLA and to your communities. I love that FCCLA leads members to pursue powerful and rewarding careers across an array of fields in areas such as social work, healthcare, childcare, personal finance, hospitality, tourism, education, and much more. As an example from just a few of the national officers we had the pleasure to meet, Shelby plans to pursue a career in political science. Reese is considering a future in child psychiatry. Gianna is looking to work in fashion merchandising. Amy and Nathaniel are both interested in law. Madison's looking to study business. And every single one of the National Executive Councils who we met with wowed us with your enthusiasm, your vision, your drive, and dedication to building and leading bright futures. And we know that FCCLA instills this leadership in each and every one of you, every one of its members. And we know you're not just a member of FCCLA because you want a strong career pathway for yourself. Every single FCCLA member I've had the pleasure of speaking with and learning from, including the group that was here in DC a few months ago, has demonstrated your individual and your collective commitment to the greater good. I've heard from you about the concerns that you and your peers hold about so many areas, from mental health and well-being, to creating places of belonging and inclusion, from nutrition and basic need supports for youth and families, to ensuring healthy relationships and reducing substance abuse and teen violence, and so much more. You have such a clear understanding of the challenges that our young people today face, and you have compelling vision backed with important ideas on how to address these challenges to improve outcomes. I hope you know how important you are, how important what you do with FCCLA is. You play a crucial role in our society, focusing on the well-being of individuals, families, and communities. Through your work in FCCLA, you're making a positive impact on the lives of people around you, and you are preparing for your future for careers in all kinds of critical areas, including, I believe, you're well prepared to think critically, be nimble, and engage in careers that don't even exist yet today. And the skills you're developing for life today are the very skills that will strengthen the very fabric of our nation tomorrow and into the future. Just as families are the foundation of our society, family and consumer sciences form the foundation of many essential life skills. We at the department love career and technical student organizations or CTSOs like FCCLA because you provide students with real world hands-on and minds-on and hearts-on experiences. You equip young leaders with the knowledge and skills necessary to navigate real world challenges. By promoting rigorous academic and technical skills, leadership development, and networking opportunities, FCCLA enhances student achievement and connects our young leaders to purpose-driven careers. I encourage you to continue to embrace and foster the spirit of growth, innovation, equity, and evolution within your programs. By constantly adapting to the changing needs of our communities and meaningfully engaging with your partners and stakeholders, you're strengthening our nation's in interdependence and our critical connections and you're preparing your members to thrive in diverse and inclusive workplaces, fostering a stronger future for all of us. Your leadership in shaping our future is truly inspiring. Your work sustains our communities and our families. We're grateful for your dedication. The Biden-Harris administration values and appreciates all that FCCLA represents and achieves. We look forward to our continued partnership with you as we work together to create a brighter future for all individuals and families. I wanna share on behalf of all of us at the US Department of Education, our heartfelt gratitude and congratulations on the impact you're making through FCCLA, both in education and careers. Your passion and commitment are driving positive change, and we are proud to be on this journey with you toward new horizons. I hope you enjoy this leadership conference. Give it your all in the competitive events, fully engage in all the networking and workshops and showcases and red talks and team building opportunities that you have. In other words, squeeze all you possibly can out of this event to take it back home with you. And kudos to the state officers. Congrats to all of you who are candidates for national officers. Gracias, Elakwa. Thank you all for the important work every one of you does. Keep at it.